So let's go over nine digital marketing tools that every entrepreneur should be familiar with. All right, so the first one is Tabula Trends. So if you're not familiar with Tabula, it is an advertising uh, business where you can advertise your products or your services, and they are native ads. Those are the little square ads that are at the bottom of a lot of these articles on like news websites. Those are those type of ads. So if you go over to Tabula Trends, you can actually go to their title analyzer and you can literally find which is going to be the best performing title for a campaign or maybe an article or some uh, maybe an email subject line, whatever it is, they will take this article and predict which is going to have the higher click-through rate, all right? So for example, if we put uh, a title of how I lost 50 pounds in 60 days, and then we're gonna test that title versus another title. So maybe we're trying to A-B test things where they're going to use their data from all their ads that they serve to help you figure out which is gonna work for you, all right? So we're gonna use that one. How I lost 50 pounds in 60 days versus how to lose uh, 20 pounds without giving up sweets. I don't know what's gonna work best, but let's see. All right, so it's telling us that how I lost 50 pounds in 60 days is going to predict a higher click-through rate. All right, so I hope this was super helpful. You could use this for any type of uh, titles that you were using to get the best click-through rate, all right? Number eight uh, tool is ClickFunnels. So this is what I use for all my funnels, all of my websites, uh, everything that I, uh, I host for my online courses, my products, my uh, digital products, my consulting is hosted through ClickFunnels. So ClickFunnels helps you build funnels. This is one of them, all right? And you can see the entire funnel goes through this. It's my, uh, first is my landing page, then it's an order form with the order form bump, then an upsell for a course, then another upsell for my uh, mentor program, then a downsell for a $27 uh, template, and then an order form confirmation, all right? So you can create all kinds of funnels within here through ClickFunnels to start using it, to start building these different funnels. And there's so many different options because you can you can host your courses, you can create your courses, you can upsell people, downsell people, and it all integrates within either your payment platform of Stripe or PayPal. It's totally up to you. You can get a free 14-day trial to start using this also uh, and just start messing around with it, all right? Uh, next is Google's Keyword Planner. So if you're struggling to come up with ideas, if you're struggling to uh, find related topics to either talk about or advertise about, or what you think is gonna be the best uh, or gets the highest searches, go to Google Keyword Planner. You don't even need to start advertising or spending money on ads to start using this tool. You just need to create an account itself to start using it, right? So you can discover new keywords, right? So you could search something like, uh, like it says, meal delivery or leather boots. But what I find uh, really, really helpful is starting with a website, all right? When discovering new keywords and wanting new keywords to talk about, all right? What does it mean? Start with a website. You can literally put in your competitor's website. Let's say you are a brand new business. You have no idea you know, what keywords to start advertising for. Maybe you're using Google Ads or you don't know what kind of articles to write about. Simply put in your top competitor's websites and it will spit out that information. So let's say for example, I am, I am starting a weight loss, uh, a weight loss uh, website or a weight loss business, okay? So I wanna compare and find keywords related to that. I'm gonna put in, let's say for example, this is except pure. This is a weight loss supplement on Clickbank and let's say I want to find those keywords. What am I going to do? I'm going to search that site and Google is going to go into their site, into their data and find out what kinds of keywords are related to this site. Really awesome, really easy to use and you can see the average monthly searches, you can see the keywords by relevance, right? And I can even change this around to see what is the highest has the high searches, right? Fast weight loss, lose the weight, uh, lose weight pill, right? All of these searches have 100,000 to a million searches per month on Google. So this is really informative. If you're brand new, start with the website, start with your competitor's website and really just understand your buyers much better with this, okay? The next tool is Canva. If you're not familiar with Canva, you can start using it for free or you can pay like what I do, 12 bucks a month 
to, to create thumbnails, you can create Instagram stories, Instagram posts, Facebook posts, right? Uh, all these different things for your business, all these different marketing materials for your business, right? A resume, infographic, poster, uh, a Pinterest post, eBooks, right? All these things. I use Canva to create lead magnets. I use it to create YouTube thumbnails. I use it to create social media content, right? You can use it for presentations, videos, uh, websites, print products. All of these different options are available within right here. And the best part is when or if you sign up for their uh, for their professional uh, account, which is the 12 bucks a month, I think it's 12 bucks a month, maybe 13. Uh, it gives you access to all of their photos and videos, like really high quality photos, really high qu quality videos. And they have all these templates that literally you just plug and play your information, your business, into it to start creating really, really appealing designs, all right? All right, the next one is powerthesaurus.com. This is a new tool that I just discovered. I think you're really gonna enjoy it is, you know, let's say you're writing copy, let's say you're writing, uh, trying to write emails, and you don't really have the words to articulate, or you don't, you think there's a more powerful word out there that can help you. That's where you come into Power the Thesaurus, and let's say you're writing, uh, you want a, a synonym for amazing, type it in, and here are all these more powerful words that help you get your point across. They create emotion in your sales copy, in your advertising, in your, emails or your landing pages, your sales pages, right? So astonishing, incredible, wonderful, phenomenal, awesome, astounding, right? All of these different synonyms and you can go antonyms, definitions, sentences, all of these really, really cool, really great for the copywriter within you, all right? And this obviously is one of my favorite, ChatGPT. I use this all the time. I use this for coming up with ideas. I use it for brainstorming. I use it for keywords. I use it for writing copy. Uh, now, I think a lot of people struggle with ChatGPT because maybe they not they might not know the the marketing frameworks or the marketing ideas that will help them to get the best out of it. For example, you know, let's say you're trying to write a you know a heck uh, a headline and a subheadline and maybe some sales copy or maybe an email marketing campaign. You need to know the frameworks. You need to know what works to input that into ChatGPT so it can give you it right. So, for example, if you're saying write a headline for my sales page about anti-aging uh, skin care cream. All right, it might not give you the best output from that, but if you tell it a little bit of, a little bit more about the business, a little bit uh, what the target demographic is, you're going to get a much better response from it. All right, so use ChatGPT, get familiar with it because it is changing the way marketing operates, especially for the solopreneur, the person that's you know just getting started. It's changing everything. All right. The next tool is get response or any kind of email marketing software. You need to market through email. You need to collect leads. You need to market to people over and over again, because this is you build an email list. You build a customer list of people that you can continuously market to over and over again, rather than just getting a one off sale. Now get response. You can get a free account, uh, literally completely for free. If you have less than 500 email, uh, a less than 500 person email list over that, you start paying for it, but you can really get started messing around with it and literally integrate it into click funnels and start, you know, building your email list, communicating with your target audience and find out what people want. And more importantly, sell them with, uh, sell them products and services that they want. Okay. So become familiar with this. I found that get response has the best, uh, has the best support. They literally have a live chat. And what I find with all these new softwares, because you're probably thinking, wow, this is a little overwhelming. I get it, especially with every new software, there's something new, there's something you need to learn. There's a learning curve. Get response has always been the quickest to have a live chat and actually have someone right there within a minute to help you answer any kind of question you have. And I believe, uh, I forget which company did the analysis, but they said that for every dollar spent on email marketing had a $36 ROI. So don't sleep on email marketing. You need to be collecting leads, collecting information, collecting data, because let's say any of these social media platforms just uh, collapses or you get banned or you get kicked off of some kind of platform. 
Email marketing will never go away. You're always going to have that actual data, someone's email about uh, knowing that they have interest in marketing or whatever your industry or space is. You're always going to have that data, all right? The next tool is Google Trends. So you're gonna wanna know what is trending, what's popular, what's going crazy right now and hop on that trend if you're creating content or you know you should be creating content. Let's say you are sending out emails. You need to be able to know what is going crazy in your industry so you can capitalize on it, right? So for example, if I put in ChatGPT, you can literally see the interest over time, all right? So this is in the past day. Let's see what the past 12 months is like right you can see right here it shot up when it got released and it's still going up and up and up so you can capitalize on these different trends and go over to trending now and see what's actually trending based on you know maybe different topics or different keywords related to your industry into your space okay and the final tool is answer the public. So I know I talked a lot about keyword research and really understanding what people are searching, what people want to know. This helps to understand it even on a deeper level. Okay, so with answer the public, you can literally just go over to uh, here to search a topic or a brand. And let's say we're gonna type in, uh, I'm gonna type in landing page and see what people are asking about. See what people want to learn and want to know. All right, now I do want to point out that this is a, uh, it, it is free to have three daily searches. You could obviously upgrade if you want to have a little bit more uh, searches for it, but it's going to give you the results that you want, right? So it's gonna literally point out all of this data and give it to you, right? The search volume, cost per click, and then look at all these things. The why homepage, uh, why make a landing page, right? All these things. This is kind of confusing to me having it like this, but I like putting it um, almost set up how this is rather than the big circle, right? Because it's much easier to read this way. And it goes through all these different keywords related to your keyword or to your topic, okay? So does a landing page work? Do landing pages rank on Google, right? Do landing pages need SEO? All of these things that you're gonna wanna understand, you're gonna wanna know what your target audience is talking about, what they're thinking, right? This gets you into their minds, all right? So I hope all these tools are really helpful. I hope you uh, got a lot out out of this video, I will leave all these links in the description below so you can start using them right away. And if you enjoyed this video, you're gonna like these two videos also at the top, so make sure to check them out, make sure to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.